Chat already. I can't see you. In fact, where is my phone? It means you, you that see. Oh, it's so I left it over there. One second. If only there was an app and I could see both at once, because this is going to be very difficult uh, with this current setup. Uh, okay, yeah. At least I look like I'm well-centered. Let me get Twitch chat open on here. So that at least I can see that. And there should only be one pumpkin up here. i got to do this quick. It's already dark. And I know that uh, trick-or-treaters have already started coming. There we go, I should be able to see through there. Hey guys. Hey guys, guys, guys. Let's see if I put that one there. Hopefully I'm gonna be okay. And, and if I could make YouTube chat a little can I zoom in? I might be able to see what I can do here. So, I hope uh, you're ready to carve along, and I hope, uh, more so, I hope you've carved already, because we don't have a lot of time tonight. I got started pretty late today. Okay. Hey, pumpkin. Long time no see. It's been a long year, hasn't it? And yet you are as young as a newborn babe. Well, let's cut into you. It is time. The yearly ritual is upon us. How's everybody doing tonight? I hope all is well for you and yours. Mm, well, that's still too small. I can't really read YouTube chat. Uh, You guys are used to me leaning out of frame to read. Because that's what it was like at the old place anyway. Okay. Now what kind of face do I see? I think I already know. But I want your face to be right here. I guess I need a marker, don't I? You guys get to see my bed. It's pretty unremarkable. Uh, okay, yeah, what kind of face do you have? He's very lumpy, this guy. I don't know if you can see. He's very, uh, he's bumpy all over. Hmm, what kind of face does that make? No, not a, a wiggly mouth is too... It's too predictable. He needs... What do you need? I can't... I actually can't tell here. He's got this curved stem. I like that a lot. Hmm. How about... Um... Hmm. Like a nose? A nose? I think 
I see on those here. Any tiny nose. And on top of this hole. Clown face, is that what I'm getting? Some kind of wacky clown face. White, but I'm getting closer. Mm. Star eyes. I kind of yeah. I actually like star eyes. We'll go with star eyes. I don't know if I've ever done that in a stream before. In one of these pumpkin carving streams, I feel like I must have. I'm I'm pretty sure. I've done star eyes before. But not for many years. Very interesting. I wonder what that is going to imply for him. Star eyes on a lumpy, tumorous pumpkin. Oh, this one should be nice and big. If anything, I might make it, make it a little bigger. So happy, happy Hallow's Eve. I hope everybody is safe from the vengeful spirits. And if not, I hope you guys are at least having a good time being uh, being haunted. There we go. No, it needs to be bigger than that. Let's go like, because he needs to look pretty off kilter. And right now the eyes are of pretty similar size, so it needs to be a little bit better than that. I like how this is looking so far. It's a very interesting face. Not what I expected to see. Now, what kind of mouth are you going to have, mister? to have not a jagged mouth either just a smile he definitely needs to be smiling i see this guy hmm oh yes that's it that's it that's it classic uh like round mouth pumpkin is what I'm seeing here. And I was already thinking to myself, wouldn't it be fun to do like slat teeth? Not like grill, you know what I mean? The Gengar grill. And I think I can do that here just fine. He came out pretty, he's a pretty classical pumpkin. I'll show you guys in a sec. Like, like it looks like an old timey, like what you'd expect to see, doesn't he? All right, let's cut into this fucker. There we go. Let's see. I can read now. Oh, thank you. The t-shirt. The yeah, a friend gave it to me. This was apparently um, one of those rewards for like the platinum Nintendo points or whatever. I don't buy enough Nintendo games to save up points. You need to buy a lot of games in order to like actually get points that are worth anything. But a friend spent his points and he got me this shirt and I'm very thankful for it because I like it. I think it's pretty cool. Uh... The art, this specific style of artwork when they use it for Mario Brothers stuff. I guess you can't see it. I have to lean over because the pumpkin's in the way. Uh, this specific style with the like, sh with the, the, the gradient and the backlighting. I don't know what you would call that. That like sharp reflected light on the edge. I think it's fun. I think it's neat. I think it is pretty looking. And so I'm happy that... Get in there. Come on. There we go. 
I'm happy that they're continuing to use that art style sometimes. Wow, here we go. I was pretty depressed today. When aren't I depressed, right? But cutting into this pumpkin again, I was kind of like, I was kind of like, okay, well, time to get this stream done. But at the same time, now that I'm actually slicing it, all those worries and fears kind of melt away. And I didn't expect that to hit me so hard. This was always the highlight of my year, this pumpkin carving. Ooh, ooh, pretty bad. Oh shit, yeah, this pumpkin is way moldy. Not good. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, it's all fuzzy, which is uh, bad. That's quite bad. It's a good, it's a good thing. Uh, this is the last day we're gonna need him. Oh shit, oh, be careful with that. I wanna get mold everywhere. I will not be directly reaching into this pumpkin. Ooh, wow. Look at all that fuzz. Not good. Ooh, yeah, it's all soft in there. Youch. Disgusting. That is not fun to me. I love pumpkin guts under normal circumstances, but feeling that texture is like ugh, icky. Not nice. Gross, gross, gross. Not, not, not fun. So I'm not going to be sticking my face and sniffing this pumpkin. Usually I do it. But I'm, I'm deciding not to inhale mold spores right now. Yeah, I'm being careful. Getting mold in here would be like the worst thing. I do not need that in my life. I'm going to want to get this motherfucker out of here as soon as possible. He's going to go out on the doorstep, and then in the morning he'll go right in the trash. Sorry, Pumpkin. That's, I guess that's why you have, he's, like, there's an edge of malice to his face, I feel like. Even though he's kind of, like, ostensibly cheerful, I can tell he's not very, uh, he's got, like, some kind of sinister motive, and I think that's what it is. His head is full of rot. That there we go. I'm gonna wash my hands when I'm done here too. Really gross to feel that like the pumpkin is very soft and usually I'm used to you have to really scrape and scrape and scrape to get any of the insides out but it's just like crumbling away. Not particularly nice to feel. I have I I have face masks. I have like I have cloth ones, but I also have um, disposable ones downstairs that I could grab if I really needed to. Really icky. That's like gross looking. Do not like that. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm not spending time lingering with bad pumpkin in the spoon. But it's like all brown. Icky, icky. There's a lot more that left too. It'll be good to get this shit out of here as soon as possible. Because yeah, as I think it was Space Bakery that said, getting mold on your bed would be like the, the worst thing. That would mean you would need to get a whole new mattress. And we can't afford that. I can't even afford health care. 
Are you going to afford a new mattress? Me, no, I think so. Oh, my nails are garbage this year. I'm sorry about that. I didn't have time to... I didn't have time to polish them even. You can, I think you could see that like the shit's coming off. Maybe it gives it like a grungy look. But there's like certain things that uh, you could try to use it an excuse of like, oh yeah, it's like it's like uh, it's like textured, right? It makes it spooky. And then somebody would just be like, no, I could tell you just didn't do your nails today. What scary movies have you watched? I tried a couple movies this year. <sighs> I tried out... Um, I was talking on the game dev streams. I was talking about how I really liked Smile. I finally saw Smile and I was like, Oh yeah, I know that guy. I thought it was a really effective movie. I want to buy the soundtrack, to be honest. The soundtrack is like... Very, very... It really captures those emotions really well. But, um, that's a fairly old movie. I didn't see anything new. I saw, the other thing I was going to say was in preparation for the, uh, for the story reading, I watched a bunch of witch movies. The classic, like, late 80s, early 90s witch movie craze that happened. I went through a few of, a few of them. And they were all very hokey. A lot more so than I expected. I remembered people talking about the craft like it was really, really meaningful. And then I finally saw it and I was like, I get it. I've definitely run into people like this, but it's also really hammy. None of it really made it into the story reading. I was hoping to kind of capture that like pop culture with witchcraft feeling and it didn't really land at least a few people said i looked like chris angel which was like that's kind of what i was going for it's the closest thing no i did not watch vavich i would like to because everybody said it was good when it came out and I'm like, yeah, I, I would be down for an actual genuine horror movie about witchcraft. That sounds fun. I would be willing to try it out. Okay, I think we're almost done on this one. It's still pretty brown and gross in there, but... Like I said, this guy's going right on the front porch when I'm done. I just need to cut out his face bits. It's interesting to get to see the pumpkin in this state of decay. Uh, Mover 53. I've never actually seen what a pumpkin is like when it's rotten on the inside. I think one of the previous years there was a moldy spot, but it was just a spot. And this is like, this has permeated the whole pumpkin. Are you, I'm glad that at least you can't tell from the outside, so he's not going to look displeasing if any more trick-or-treaters come, but... There's a smell. There's like a smell to this that I have not encountered before. I'm not used to. It's, it's almost like a gingerbread is what I would describe it as. Pretty sure I've shared this tip on previous come on, get in there. on previous years. But when I'm carving out the face bits, I always try to angle the knife outwards, as in like making the inside cut larger than the outside cut, because 
it helps. Come on, get in there. It helps to define the features a little bit more clearly. If you just go, if you go perpendicular to the pumpkin surface, you end up getting that thick rind visible. And for some some pumpkins, that's really good. Uh, that's like the pumpkin look, I would say. So if you're trying to go for like a really traditional looking pumpkin, that might be what you want to do. Is to just make the knife completely like this rather than like this. I actually I accidentally did it because I was demonstrating. I'll also be wiping up in here to make sure that nothing... Man, why is this... Uh, for a rotted pumpkin, your rind is really stiff. Come on. Ugh, there we go. Criminy. I guess that's why I didn't notice he was moldy. Because his outside is very resilient. I did have three pumpkins. This year, now I only have two. I had three pumpkins, and one of them was outwardly moldy, and so I threw it out. trick-or-treaters and it's always the same way every year people start when it's still light out and I'm like come on you don't get the full effect of all the like glowing decorations and everything if you go out while it's still bright out why don't you come out what's going on here why am I missing a cut looks like it's over here Corners of the star. There we go. Oh, looks like it may work. Excuse me, cripes. It's my hot dog from lunch. Get in there. Motherfucker, what's wrong with you? Oh, yes, I believe it's in this corner. We're in the problem line. To go. Ugh, that's such a. I don't like that smell. Ugh. Pumpkin ain't supposed to smell like bread. Yeah, this is just wrong. There we go. It's starting to give. I don't know why it's so stuck. It looks to me like every corner is. This seems like a pretty safe piece. Okay, now we cut out the nose. Oh, gross. I can feel the softness now that I've hollowed it. I do like pumpkin bread. Uh, Didi was asking me the other day, he was like, hey, Julian, what's your favorite type of cookie? And I listed a bunch, but none of them were really making me excited. And then I remembered, oh shit, pumpkin cookies. Pumpkin cookies are where it's at. I know it's, for me, it's a cliche response, but like, boy, is that a tasty thing. Especially when it has like chocolate chips and such. Really, really good. Plush. Oh, I got, yeah, I got a Totoro. I'm not going to touch him right now because my hands are dirty and I do not want my things getting moldy. It's a Totoro that uh, Dee Dee bought for me years and years ago. He went on a, he went on a trip and he brought it back for me. It was very sweet of him because I was going through a really hard time back then. 
I was feeling really awful. And he wanted to bring me something comforting. I have a lot more plushes that I don't have in this room right now. Right now they're still in a plastic bin because we just moved. Hopefully keep them safe until we settle in. I would need to figure out how to display them, like shelves or something like that. Because there's too many. There's two plastic bins full of uh, stuffed animals. And they're not all going to fit on one bed. Believe me, I tried. When I was a little kid, I had a lot of stuffed animals as well. And I... And I remember trying to fit them all on my bed at once, one time, and they just didn't. Kiki's Delivery Service is a pretty good, like, mellow Halloween movie if you don't want screaming blood, etc. And you just want something, like, vaguely Halloween-themed. That's a pretty good one. Ooh, I can hear kids outside. That's nice. I'm glad. I wasn't sure how many trick-or-treaters we were going to get this year. But that means I got to double time this. Because I know, it, it, what, what kind of house would you... Who would trick-or-treat at a house that doesn't have jack-o'-lanterns? Imagine. Who knows what you're gonna get? Okay, there we go. Yep, get in there, get in there. Okay, good. Are you gonna? Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I was gonna be like, are you gonna behave? And he did. Thanks for the bits. Uh, downtown drunk, I appreciate it. How many, let's see, how many pumpkins are you carving and which pumpkin are you on? This is the first one and I'm only carving two this year. I understand you guys might feel a bit cheated. Sorry about that. Like I said, I had, uh, I had two, I had three pumpkins. Usually I try to do four. I've always wanted to do more than that, but there's never enough time in the day. Always, every single year. Trick-or-treaters come before I'm finished with the pumpkins. I never have enough time. Theoretically, if I ever had friends that could carve with me, that would be pretty cool. But it has... Oh, wait, no, no, no. That's not true. I had, I had a friend carve pumpkins with me like two years ago, I think. Time to get these teeth done and I can finally get this smelly pumpkin out of here. You're out of here. Bump, 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 bump. People dress up as people dress up as a baseball for Halloween. I've seen it. They wear the stripy pajamas. Don't try to tell me they don't. I don't know what the kids are trick-or-treating as this year. There we go. Come on. Okay. There we go. I didn't get to see. I was in the shower when... I was in the shower when trick-or-treaters came earlier, so I didn't get to see what they were dressed as. Uh, this year, I went out of my way to... There we go. I went out of my way to buy those little, uh, those little skeleton candies. You guys know what I'm talking about? The little, the little like puzzle skeletons that are made out of sugar. That they come in the little coffins. And you can build a skeleton out of them. 
That was one of the most special Halloween candies I remember receiving when I was a little kid, and so I hope I hope the childrens enjoy. I don't know if they're going to be any good. They may not be tasty. But anything besides fun size like Snickers. Sick of Snickers. Anything that's not like the Mars Company. They're too common. I wouldn't have a problem with them if it weren't for the fact that they're so ubiquitous. They're like those, those big bags of uh, candy that you get at the store. Everybody, everybody, everybody has them. And I remember towards the end of my trick-or-treating career that like I would notice like this is all anybody ever gets and so you just end up with a big bag of the same five candies. My favorite ones were those skeleton ones like I mentioned. Oh, I fucking, I messed up. But also the, uh, do you guys remember those strawberry candies? I assume they still exist. But those strawberry candies that are like, they're wrapped so that they look like strawberries and they're just like little strawberry flavored hard candies. I loved those. They were really tasty and they were also really rare. You didn't always get them. And so that rarity made them special. Rarity. Pony. Happy Halloween, every pony. Happy, what do they say? They have, they have their own Halloween that's not Halloween, I don't remember. Winter wrap up, right? Uh, I know ponies. I know ponies. I know them in real life. Er, get over here. Yeah, the golden green wrapping. Yes. Okay, so good. Uh, Foster knows what I'm talking about. You remember. They are very, very good. Oh, I haven't seen lemon heads in forever. I forgot about lemon heads. What happened to them? I don't remember the last time I saw lemon heads. is the last piece and with that wait hold on I fucked up again cool there you go you guys get to see the final face I'm not gonna I'm not gonna linger here not only because I'm pressed for time but also because of this moldy pumpkin I don't want to have it in my bedroom for any longer than I have to Well, anyway, yeah, I'm not going to light it for you guys here. You're just going to have to see the pumpkin as it is. There he, oh wait, hold on. Almost forgot. I got to cut a slit in the top so that he doesn't catch on fire. There we go. There you are, evil, weird clown pumpkin man, whatever his name is. If I had, I don't have any rubbing alcohol to erase the lines on his mouth, but it's not the worst thing. All right, say goodbye, pumpkin. Uh, give me just a few minutes. I'll be right back. I'm going to go light this guy and stick him on the porch, and then I'll be back to do my second pumpkin. So you guys sit tight.
Enchantment in my I don't know which song I have a playlist going. I don't know which song is on, it's on, but I love those old timey Halloween songs from like the beginning of the century, last century. I have to I have to say now, because we're we're almost three decades into the current century. Pretty wild to be like, oh yeah, the two thousand thirties. I shouldn't say almost. We've still got the 20s to get through. But I used to say like, oh yeah, the, the 1920s, that was one of my favorite decades because that was when animation got started. Really wacky to be here a hundred years later. There we go. Okay, contaminants contained. That's what I got this big plastic bag for. Have fun, Werma. Thank you very much for coming. I always appreciate your help. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, Didi, I should say. Uh, Didi is asking me to tell you guys that uh, this year's um, Dreadful Dead Scream is finally up on the Ding Dong VG Streams channel. You can uh, you can go you can go straight there, or you can go to. He's gonna have a link in the Boo video on his main channel as well. So if you guys want to watch all the wacky stuff we did this month, the uh, the long stream is finally up. The VOD. More or less a VOD, we had to cut out um, the Great Bear Scare. Because it... Uh, he tried to upload the whole thing without it, and then it got... It got flagged for copyright again. This time it wasn't a, it wasn't a big, it wasn't like the, there was a, there was like a, a takedown thread that went up during the first one. It was really unfortunate. It would have been great if we could hold on to that first airing. No such luck. That's just the way it is. But anyway, if you guys want to see spooky stuff, it's finally time. You're a very interesting pumpkin. It's wacky that the stem pokes straight up and he's got a very smooth rind, more so than I'm used to. Very, very interesting. I'm not sure what I want to do. Ah, thank you, Warma. I appreciate it. Yeah. There's also a link in the YouTube chat. Put one on Twitch as well, or this is Twitch. Would you put one on YouTube, where am I? And then you, and then you are freed from your shackles. You can go be a sexy genie lady. You said you're what? You said you're Kermit the Frog or something. I guess you could be sexy genie Kermit the Frog. It wouldn't, wouldn't be the wackiest TGTF I've ever seen. Who made the mu music for the Boo video? I don't know. Some Canadians, presumably. The if you want to, you, I don't advise it. But if you want to see uh, the Boo, Boo, it's just a TV special called Boo. It's on a video. It's on a channel called. 
I want to say it's like Chicago TV Archive or something like that. But originally it was a Canadian production that was then re-aired in Chicago. Um, it's a variety show and it's not very fun. It's really boring and their jokes are awful. But they do have a fantastic opening music number that makes you feel like, wow, we're in for a really good time. What the, what, like, what's going to happen here? And then it's like... And then it's like, like you can, Star Wars just came out, you can tell. And so like a third of the thing is just like really vague alien jokes because they don't really know what Star Wars is. It's, I don't know, maybe that's fascinating enough to you. I don't think I ever had hot tamales. Um, spicy and like spicy candies I don't like. I don't do the, like, those, like, Mexican things you dip in the chili powder and stuff like that. I've never enjoyed it. I think this is your face. I, every time I turn around, this section of the pumpkin catches my eye. So, with your straight up, you have their stem just poking right out. What are you going to want? What kind of face? That's, no, limbs, that was, that was my, um... That was my theory, is that they blew all of their production budget and time into that opening intro sequence, and then there's nothing left. That's what it feels like to me. Mm. Oh, shit. No name brand orange juice. I'm sorry. They just got their wisdom teeth taken out. You're going to be miserable. I had mine taken out when I was like, I want to say 21, maybe 22. I don't remember. And I just, the whole, the whole day afterwards, I was like, I, 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 I feel so miserable right now. The only thing I can do is I just, I just stayed in my room and played zombies versus aliens, zombies versus aliens. Plants vs. Zombies. I played Plants vs. Zombies all day. Okay, I immediately know what kind of face I want you to have. You are going to have... Jagged, screamy face. And what kind of eyes? You need to have very special eyes. I kind of like that, actually. I kind of like that already. Do you want a nose? This eye shape, something about this eye shape. Do I actually want to go opposite direction? Yes, I believe that's so. You want to go, yeah, like that. There you go, very simple face. Maybe I add a tongue just for a little bit of visual. visual interest because you don't want to have you don't have nothing there you go can you guys see it oh god a grim love i thought you said you got your toenails taken out you poor thing <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to shake the webcam. Hopefully it's still okay. How do I get my pompadour so to look so good? Practice. Uh, doing it a couple times. And uh, just pra like uh, getting a routine going, basically. For the first year or two that I was doing my pompadour, I didn't really know how to handle it. I didn't quite know what I was doing, and so... It probably didn't look as good very early on, but um, at this point I've got more or less a routine going. And it's still, even then, it doesn't come out the same every time. There's like, I have like a bit of like an Invader Zim slash like dib pompadour going with the, like this little lick at the front. And usually that's not there. Usually it's just a big lump. 
sometimes it goes to one side or the other just because uh, of the way that I put it together. I'm fine with that. That's like the thing that I was talking about earlier with my nails where it's like, I can call that grungy. I can call that like aesthetic that everything's kind of a little off kilter. Uh, I like the idea of ephemeralness. Ephemerality? I don't know what the adjective, like, I guess ephemeral is already. I like when things are ephemeral. Uh, that's why we tend not to save our stream VODs and everything. This one is going to stay up. I always keep my pumpkin, uh, my pumpkin carving streams. For those who don't know, I haven't seen anybody. I saw a whole bunch of people saying it when we did the, uh, when we did the Dreadful Dead scream that they were saying, wow, Julian face reveal. I've been doing these for like 15 years. I've been doing these pumpkin carving streams for a really long time. I think I started, I did a Halloween stream way back in 2008 with some friends, but we didn't carve pumpkins. But I think like, I think I started doing pumpkin carving streams in like 2011, 2012, something like that. And I've been trying to keep them up every year. I haven't been able to hit every year. But I think I've done the last, like, five or so consecutively. So this isn't new. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Nemi Quark. I hope that one day you can have, you can be as hairy as I am. I am pretty hairy. Like, I, you guys can see my arms. Oh, fuck, I fucked up. This isn't, uh, yes, this, uh, this, this stream will go, will stay up so that you can... You can watch this later if you want to. On Twitch, um, on Twitch, VODs go away after two months, but I believe, I don't remember if all my previous Halloween streams are up on YouTube. I think so, I don't remember. Because I don't think I started streaming to YouTube until fairly recently. Until like the last year or so, something like that. So, I don't know if those older ones are still up. I am not sure. Sorry if not. We've had to reshuffle things so many times. And things get lost. That's just how it is. I think I have them all saved on a hard drive. But in terms of like public stuff, I don't remember where you could see the previous years. <laughs> Nibsy bits. That's with that was with the more refined one. The previous year I had also tried to do Luigi's Mansion, but the gimmick was I was drunk. I don't remember what the gimmick was, but that I was like that I would take a shot every time a boo showed up or something like that. I don't remember. And DD looked over the footage and he was like, "This is not going to work. This is you're just making a fool of yourself." And I was like, "Okay." So count yourself lucky that that's the one that you became familiar with. I guess in theory, part of the problem might be that, like, doesn't drunken... Drunkenness might get you banned, right, on Twitch, you think? Something like that. Or, like, that specifically excessive drunkenness or something like that, that they... That it's like under their self-harm policy, I believe. I 
No? Okay. Well, maybe I misremembered then. The problem is, Nibsy, the problem is I wouldn't have lost my grip on a ghost. The only ones that it would have happened would have been the bosses, because they're, they force you to let go of them at certain points. But I'm good enough at Luigi's Mansion that regular ghosts are not going to slip away from me. Oh boy, this shit again. Okay, where? One needs it. <laughs> That's probably. I have to stop myself from humming because I keep wanting to hum songs that are in the playlist, but I don't know if they're. It's probably not the one that's actually playing right now. Yeah, maybe. Hot tub. I wonder, what would boiling a pumpkin do to it? Uh, who, what's her name? Shelby Watson, right? Did I read your name correctly? I didn't. You scrolled off screen before I could read it all the way. They suggested, oh, just do pumpkin carving streams in a hot tub. And I was like, what if I drop it? Is that going to ruin it? I don't know. But I would. Do it. Like, that sounds fun. If I could get, like, if I could get some attractive people to bathe with, that sounds like a pretty good time. Why won't you let go? to do this multiple times. But I can still feel it holding on and I don't know to what. There we go. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Oh, right. I forgot. I didn't open up the top. I was going to reach in and grab it. And then I realized. Okay, one second. I need to wipe this up. It got a little crummy. Oh, yeah. That's the smell I was waiting for. Thank you, thank you. You tasty little pumpkin. Is it Amy Winfrey? I watched the rest of her stuff recently. I had only ever seen Making Fiends before, and then finally, Big Bunny is really good. I really like Big Bunny. I think that's why I was like, delicious pumpkin. I like pumpkin flavor. I don't like pumpkin spice very much. But just regular pumpkin flavor, I do love. I do very much love. The, uh, like I said, pumpkin cookies, I think, would be my favorite type. Pumpkin bread is really good.
Yeah, I know, because uh, the pumpkin spice emphasizes the spice and you don't even taste the pumpkin. Pointless. Mm, don't make me think about pumpkin pie, motherfucker. Holy shit. I love me some pumpkin pie. Maybe I should have ordered some. I should have got some for ha to enjoy this Halloween. Well, it's in season until like Christmas, right? Pumpkin pie, I think, is expected for the entire sort of like cold holiday season. the doorbell go off I really hope I didn't completely miss my window for people to see glowing pumpkins on the porch it's not even that late I feel like I tried pumpkin cheesecake at one point, but I don't remember. I feel like that must have happened. Because I love cheesecake as well. I can't do cheesecake. Because I know it's going to ruin my insides. Uh, I react to dairy really badly. I think this... Did, did, didn't this discussion come up last year? I feel like I started talking about my digestion during last year's stream as well. So I'm not, let's not have a repeat. We Let's not make it so that both streams are exactly the same thing. Oh, look at all these seeds. Oh, baby, look at that. You see this? Motherfuckers, you see this? It's a shame to throw it out. I hope I can find, I saved like four jars of pumpkin seeds from last Halloween. But I haven't seen them since we moved in. I hope that I didn't lose them in the, in the, uh, in the move. Because I want to, I want to actually grow pumpkins. I've tried to grow pumpkins for many, many years. And it never quite works out. This is not the home to do it in either. But I want to be able to hold on to them until I can. You know what? I didn't think of that. I could have uh, I could have made pumpkin seeds. I've already tossed them in the bag is the problem. I also don't think I don't I, I don't have any of the spices you would need. You got to put like stuff on it. Just salt is like, it's kind of sad. You need like some paprika and junk like that. I don't remember the exact recipe. I did it with a friend a couple years ago that we baked the pumpkins after doing jack-o'-lanterns. We baked the seeds after doing jack-o'-lanterns. Which song is it on? Somebody tell me. That way I'm not humming the wrong song. I don't know what the soil here is like. Even at the, but even at the previous house that we were at, people told us, oh, no, the, like the soil here is not good for growing things. You're not going to be able to grow things. But I got pumpkin seeds to sprout. The only reason it didn't work out was because animals kept eating the sprouts. Every time, little every time the 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 plants would start to grow, they would get torn up. Hey, 
Happened the first time that I ever tried to grow pumpkins. The first time I ever tried to grow pumpkins, they actually did, like, the fruits even started to form. But we had a family dog that decided to chew them up. They attacked the sea, the, the, they attacked the pumpkins, and, and then, you know, that's that. But, uh... Yeah, I would need to, like, probably set it up with, like, some chicken wire and junk like that. Come on, get out of there. Free yourself. No, stop. Okay, if you, if you jump off one more time. Thank you. Sounds fun. Nemi pork. It would be cool to go to. Our resident pumpkin king. Oh yeah, the uh the Splatfest. We almost won! Team Skeleton almost won! I, if I had been able to play more tricolor matches, maybe, but we got, we got, uh, we got the base wins and we got pro wins. We just didn't get, we didn't get, uh, tricolor matches. Very nearly. I haven't been on the winning team in a Splatfest for a long time. But at least I'm happy that Big Man got to win. I'm glad that his choice was the one that that won out. Hey, hey. of this mouth. Oh, man. You gotta take a whiff of that heavenly scent one last time. Because I'm not gonna be able to smell it for much longer. It was nice. It was nice to have it while it lasted. I still gotta do the eyes. I just wanna cut my notch in this thing before I do anything else. I played Crash 4 at a friend's house, I remember. It was okay, in terms of gameplay. I'm not very into the, like, the way it's animated and, like, the presentation, the aesthetic and everything. I'm really confused why nobody seems to want to accept Crash Bandicoot as, like, a Looney Tunes reference. Very clearly, that's what Crash Bandicoot was originally supposed to be, that he has, like, his, like, overly sexy girlfriend. He does his spin attack. Very clearly based off of the tra Tasmanian Devil. Things like that. The, uh, Cortex and Embryo. You can tell that they're supposed to be, uh, uh, Dr. Frankenbeans, you know what I mean? Like, stuff like that. And I've always been waiting, like, okay, when are we going to get a Crash game that emphasizes that it's supposed to be, like, a slapstick cartoon? And I haven't done it in a really long time since, like, those initial three games. Even then it was starting to drift. I don't know. Point of inspiration is not necessarily where it's going to end up, I guess. But at least in terms of gameplay, it seemed like a pretty solid crash game. It seemed like it was like what you would expect. Uh, so theoretically, I might finish it. I might try it out someday, but 
the aesthetics of a thing are usually what pull me in to begin with. I am a very visually oriented person, and that's usually the thing that makes me want to... Even if a game is bad, I'll probably... I'll probably put up with it just because I'm like, oh, I want to see what visuals they have. As long as it interests me. And if it doesn't interest me, then it's like, okay, why bother? So I could try it out. It's just, it doesn't feel very lengthy. Sexy Girlfriend was more of like a... That's not really a Looney Tunes thing, to be fair. It's I'm lumping it in because in the 90s it was a thing. Even Sonic had one, remember? Sonic had his sexy woman girlfriend. Mario did too. That's what Pauline was originally. Everybody was inspired by Who Framed Roger Rabbit and everybody wanted to have their own Jessica Rabbit. So there's like still like a cartoon connection is what I'm getting at. It's just not Looney Tunes specific. Uh, no, Smash Matt, um, if you look up the original uh, design documents for Sonic before... He had, like, a human girlfriend. He had a human girlfriend that was the same archetype with, like, the slinky dress and stuff like that. I don't remember what her name was, if anything. Sonic also used to be part of a band. Maybe I'm wrong. Didn't she have... No, she didn't have a slinky dress. She had, like... I want to say she was in a t-shirt and she had, like, spiky hair, didn't she? Still the idea of, like, small, goofy animal character, tall, um, tall, attractive human woman girlfriend, the idea. Okay, then I'm misremembering the whole thing. Oh no, his eyeball fell out. Damn it. Oh well. That's fine. He could have one. He can have just one pupil. That makes him look a little bit more deranged. Alright, I think this one's done. Uh, here, I'll show you guys. Now that you can see. Pretty basic pumpkin face. I didn't do anything especially fancy with it, but this was the face I saw in this guy. When I looked at his... When I looked at the surface, his skin. Well, that's the pumpkin carving stream. This was a pretty short one. I'm sorry about that. Like I said, I wanted to have more pumpkins. Just not time or money this year. Maybe next year we'll have more. That would be cool. But, uh, yeah, there we go. You guys get to see. Hopefully you enjoyed watching. Hopefully uh, you got some, own car some carving of your own done, is what I meant to say. And uh, happy Halloween. I hope you guys all have a frightful night. Uh, don't get too spooked. Unless you really want to. In which case, I hope you die of fright. Uh... The this year's Dreadful Dead Scream is up on Ding Dong's channel. For those who don't know what that is, we do a big variety show every year with like a uh, with a cool a cool garment that you can purchase that has like the mascot on it. This year we have a bat guy. He's got like 3D glasses, and I thought he was pretty neat. 
so if you want to watch a bunch of spooky stuff, now is the perfect time because it's Halloween night. If you're not doing something else, you can do that. You could also prolong the Halloween experience by playing it off until tomorrow, but, you know. This is when the spiritual energies are going to be at their apex, and I assume you would want to take advantage of that. Take care, everybody. Have a good night. Thanks for watching. Um, eat your greens. Drive safe. All the stuff I usually say. Um, be smart. That's pretty good. Okay. Take care, everybody. Have a good night.